I want you to consider the idea that approach anxiety doesn't exist. Now, I've spent a long time working in the dating industry, and once upon a time, there was an era where a lot of ideas and concepts that were coming out were incredibly uh, revolutionary. They were certainly giving guys a better of understanding of how to communicate with people, how to have conversations, uh, and even giving a better understanding of themselves. And I remember once upon a time where a group of coaches, including myself, we kind of came together and we were thinking about a way that we could help guys with that initial uh, approach with talking to women and getting them to understand what the situation was. And this is where the idea of approach anxiety was born. This idea that if you saw a girl and you wanted to approach, but you were just frozen to the spot and you knew you wanted to do something, but you couldn't, and your body was having this like internal battle with itself, preventing you from going, but wanting to go, etc. Approach anxiety was born out of that concept. But is it something that's real? Well, yes and no. Approach anxiety is nothing more than social anxiety, okay? Social anxiety just means the general idea that you are afraid to talk to new people. And if you're someone who thinks like, oh no, no, approach anxiety is just really different to social anxiety, uh, I want you to have a think about this. With friends and family that you've got, do you have approach anxiety when you see them? when you want to go and talk to them, are you frozen to the spot and you're like, no, I can't talk to them? You're you're not. It's absurd if you even probably have that idea in your mind that, oh my God, I can't talk to my mom. I can't talk to my dad. Uh, I'm, I'm frozen with fear as I'm standing here. Approach anxiety isn't a selectiveness of like, oh, well, I, I've got a fear of talking to this person and a fear of talking to that person because I have certainly seen it. Um, and I'm, I know there's been coaches that have experimented with this as well. But if you get a guy who says that he's got approach anxiety and he proves he can't go and talk to a woman, he sees someone that he's attracted to and he is frozen to the spot, then he will claim or his belief is, right, I have approach anxiety. I cannot talk to that person. And the coach might say, okay, right, okay, well, I want you to go and talk to that guy. I want you to just ask for directions or whatever. And the guy is then able to do it. So he hasn't then got this selectiveness of approach anxiety. I'd even question if approach anxiety is even there. Instead, it's just the belief that he doesn't believe he can go and talk to a particular kind of person. Because if someone was genuinely suffering from social anxiety, then they wouldn't be able to talk to anyone. Meeting new people would be very difficult. And then you've got a different kind of trauma and different limiting beliefs that need to be worked on with that. But approach anxiety, it can't be selective. You've either got social anxiety or you don't have social anxiety. And I want you to let that sink in and let it kind of, um, what would be the word? I, I, I want it to in, instill confidence in you that, you know what, if you can go and talk to one stranger, then absolutely you can talk to another stranger. If it's a case that you feel that you are struggling to talk to an attractive woman, then it's not so much that you're suffering from social anxiety. Instead, you are just suffering from the lack of experience of being around beautiful and attractive people. And that just involves you having to do exposure therapy and desensitize yourself to being around particular people. So like a great exercise that you could do is actually go on holiday to a country where you are surrounded by beautiful people. And um, especially if you're going to be the exotic uh, tourist or maybe even considering it vice versa, you're going to a country where you deem everyone incredibly exotic to you. If you're then approaching or cold approaching and talking to them, 
you'll find that very quickly you will become desensitized to beauty. And I remember uh, a couple of years ago when I went on holiday to Stockholm and, you know, the Scandinavian women uh, out there are incredibly beautiful, so friendly and down to earth as well. And when I was out there and I was cold approaching and talking to some women there, and I would deem like every woman out there to me, like, like nines and tens, if we were to kind of give it a number, they were incredible. Every woman looked like a model. They were, they were incredible. And I know for myself, I had this limiting belief thinking like, they're going to, I think they're going to be just too pretty for me. I don't think they're going to give me the time of day. And I love then being able to challenge my beliefs to find out if they're true or not. And 99% of the time, my limiting beliefs and same with everyone else's aren't true, okay? They aren't facts, they aren't reality. They are going on your feelings rather than the logic of the situation. And logic comes from having the experience of doing something. So I was talking to women out there and after just simply a couple of cold approaches, suddenly beauty didn't phase me. At least out there, beauty was so common it just felt like the norm. So what did that mean then with my uh, approach anxiety? Well, it was disappearing. It was just evaporating really quickly because I was realizing that it wasn't that I had this sort of like selective issue with, with women that I was talking to. It just became the ability that I could talk to anyone. It was just a matter of that there was a level of blue beauty that I wasn't used to, and that was what was scary to me. So if you are someone who is suffering from approach anxiety, then really do consider that it doesn't exist. And I want you to go out when you are cold approaching, I want you to almost teach and train yourself that approach anxiety doesn't exist. And you want to test the belief instead of if you have social anxiety or not. If you have social anxiety, then that means that you struggle to talk to everyone, not just this person or that person. You are struggling to talk to everyone, of which then you can go through a certain process and procedure, which allows you again to go through the um, exposure therapy and desensitizing yourself to talking to strangers and then you can get to a good level where you can talk to people. Or if it's a fact that your social uh, anxiety is more of a struggle of selective anxiety, that if you see some someone in particular and you struggle to go over and approach them, then this is more of an issue about just desensitizing yourself to beauty. And perhaps maybe also getting more comfortable in the idea of, what a conversation needs to be. So you need to work then on your conversation skills. Maybe you're also a bit self-conscious of your self-image, but all of these things for now are irrelevant, um, but are certainly an important part of it. But I do, I want you to go out as homework. The next time that you go out and you are cold approaching, whether it be on the street, in a coffee shop, in a library, maybe even at night in like a bar or a club or something, I want you to consider, do you actually have approach anxiety or is it actually something else? And I'm saying the word actually a lot, but you know, is it something else entirely? Because I think you'll find when push comes to shove, you don't have approach anxiety. You probably don't have social anxiety. And instead it's just an anxiety of beautiful people and that just comes through practice and experience of talking to more women that you're attracted to. So I do hope that you have found this idea interesting. Um, again, this is a concept that has just really been constructed within the dating industry. It is uncommon really and unheard of outside of the dating community and industry. And social anxiety is the thing to instead be considering. So 
like the video if you can. I would love to hear as well in the comments below how you going out and cold approaching worked for you by not thinking that you have approach anxiety. And if you can subscribe to my channel where I will be putting out even more content to help you with your dating anxiety and hopefully see you form better relationships and dates with the, uh, the women that you're attracted to.